hi guys you're welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here you're welcome thank you for stopping by and if you're a returning subscriber thank you too this is for you guys thank you for liking thank you for sharing thank you for commenting thank you for the good you do generally i really really appreciate it and i don't take any of this for granted my name is obiano ju in today's video i'm going to be doing something fun that all of us are going to love so be sure to like this video be sure to comment because i myself i need help as well be sure to share be sure to subscribe if you have not subscribed i don't know what you're waiting for every every day we share rice and beans in this place we share popcorn we share fanta we share coke we share sprite me, I don't know what you're waiting for, you better go and subscribe and turn on, turn on the notification bell. It's somewhere around here so that when you just get any notification, you know, you can just creep in and watch. We promise to make this channel very interesting. We share a bit of everything that everybody would learn from. It's like makeup. Guys, I know that I am lagging in that one. I'm actually a very good makeup artist yes if you don't know i'm a makeup artist but since i moved to the uk it's just been very terrible because i don't know my way around so we do things like makeup we do things like um lifestyle we do family we do vlogs we do basically everything that everybody might want to see let me stop rambling and let's dive into today's video Okay guys, <laughs> in today's video, eh, I'm going to be sharing with you guys 10 things, English, 10 things that you can actually do during this quarantine period, during this um, hibernation period, yes, let me give it another name, during this isolation period, during this safekeeping period, during this episodic period, yes, asopolam. <laughs> So I'm going to be sharing with you guys 10 things that you can actually do to keep yourself busy as a grown-up woman or a man. First things first, guys, let me ask, when was the last time you had a pedicure or a manicure? Mm -hmm. Answer me. Oh. Okay, so this is an opportunity for you to have a pedicure, for you to have a, man a manicure, for you to apply that wonderful nail polish you've always wanted to for you to just keep that hand and nail well trimmed and groomed it's also an opportunity for you to give your husband a pedicure a manicure i mean these are the kind of things that will help grow your love and it is also something that can keep you busy during this period so use pumic bar <laughs> scrub off those dead skins that you have under that your leg eh those dead cells that you have under there as a leg, that leg that used to drag the sheets every night, you use stone and, scra and scrape it off. Yes, I said it. Come and beat me. I'm in my house. You stone and scrape it off. Enough is enough. Okay? Don't begin to drag the sheets every night. You stone and clean off those dead skin cells and thank me later. So guys, that's number one. The second thing you can do is take out time to have a thorough bath yes have a thorough bath every morning you wake up giddy 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 you're going to work you come back in the night you're a shadow that lives early in the morning that your children don't see and you're a shadow that comes back in the night that your children don't see you don't have a proper bath this is an opportunity for you to have a proper bath have a like soak yourself into your bathtub put an epsom salt or whatever thing it is called just put it soak yourself into it use your exfoliating sponge use your exfoliating scrub scrub your body take out the, those dead skin cells let your body breathe let your pores breathe enough is enough ah uh ah -uh. don't begin to go around with dead skin cells after you see the product you're using is not working it's a lie you have a lot of dead skin cells so this is the opportunity now for you to actually you know work on that body scrub that body body with body scrubs there are lots of good exfoliating scrubs if you want them extra exfoliating you can use um, products like scent ives and um, if you want them in a very mild manner you can use products like 
um, Queen Helen's yes so those are the very affordable drugstore products that you can find correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section mm -hmm. the third thing for you to do is if you have children girls especially this is the time for you to start learning how to make their hair stop taking them to yeah toby or yeah whatever that will take their head and put under her armpit chuck them and they'll be smelling bad odor please stop it this is the time now for you to start learning how to make their hair try it out even if it's not nice i mean they are not going anywhere you realize that with time you get better okay learn how to make their hair now style their hair in different in different styles let them feel pretty let them understand that oh mommy takes care of my hair this is the time for you to also wash the hair detangle the hair just do something beautiful on that hair you will learn as you keep doing it yeah so this is just the time for you to bond with them through making them feel beautiful on their own hair you can make it today and losing it tomorrow make it next tomorrow and losing it the next day nothing nothing spoiled actually nothing spoiled because they are not going to school they are not going for any party so it's just an opportunity for you to bond with them for you to for time to go by for you to to get busy okay if you have um boys as well you can go and take their clipper and bab their hair if you cannot do it or if you do not do it well you can bab them gorimapa bab, bab them skin and if they still do not like it, you can give them the clipper. They will help you and baba your own eyebrows since you decided to spoil their hair for them. I'm just joking anyway. So what I'm trying to say in essence is that you can learn to make your girl's hair and you can also learn to um, bab your boy's hair. After all, they're not going anywhere and you're not going anywhere. So this is just an opportunity. So the fifth thing to do during this quarantine period is to actually get your children to join in the kitchen bring your girls to the kitchen bring your boys to the kitchen you know teach them recipe you guys can create new recipes you're not going to have any visitors this period that you will say you don't want them to taste the meal that you made that wasn't nice i mean nobody is coming to your house this period so the best thing you can do is actually to bring them to the kitchen teach them recipes allow them try it out allow them to do certain things by themselves just monitor them and you realize that it is fun right mm -hmm. the sixth thing to do during this episodic period is declutter your wardrobe so you know all those ancient clothes that you've not worn in years you know all those clothes that are not fitting you again this is an opportunity for you to declutter them and give it out to people that need them okay declutter your wardrobe it's also an opportunity for you to carry that bed that you have not carried up in a long time sweep all those cobwebs under all those things that are under those sweet wrappers that your children put under all those mischievous things that your children put under it is a, it's an opportunity for you to sweep under that bed that you have not swept in a long time yes use it to pass time and it's also a form of exercise so Get yourself busy this period. Don't come and begin to complain that you're bored, you're bored, you're bored. You know, you have to create fun things for yourself. Mm -hmm. So the seventh thing to do during this period is actually to teach your children your native language on a more serious note. If you're Nigerian, I know you would understand where I'm going to. It feels like... Um, English language is just taking over our mother's tongue. So this is just an opportunity for you to teach them certain words in English. It can be parts of the body. It can be um, naming items. It could be songs. You know, it's just an opportunity for you to teach them all those things that they don't know. Tell them stories about um, their village in, in your native language. Ask them questions in your native language. Send them on errands in your native language. Tell them if they get it right that you might do the baking they asked for. Tell them if they get it right. You might give them that candy they wish for. Yes, guys. I think it's just, this period is just a period when, when God created for us to just, you know, fix certain things. So this is the time when you teach them how to speak their mother's tongue. Teach them how to understand 
make them speak it nobody is going to shame them at it as it is right now so play traditional games like ayo ncho cards yeah what's right what's cards ayo ncho ludo it's an opportunity for you to play with them teach them how to play these games i mean children of nowadays all they do is press their ipads from now till thy kingdom come and they don't really know all those things why don't you take out those ipads bring those games to the table play with them let them express themselves show them how to play it who knows so that's the number eight tips okay number nine thing to do during this period is to catch up with all the sleep you have not slept in thousand years as a result of work yes this is an opportunity for you to sleep sleep very very well go to bed early wake up late because when this quarantine period will be over you would wish that you actually listened to me <laughs> and then the last thing to do the 10th thing to do during this period is to watch my channel watch all the videos i have in my channel that's another way to keep yourself busy that's another way to get entertained it's an excellent way to pass time watch the videos on my channel i promise you will not regret it i have a lot of tutorials i have a lot of things that i have done in my channel it's just an avenue for you to pass time so guys i have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you learned one or two things out of this video be sure to give it a thumb up be sure to like comment share and all those good stuff you know thank you for stopping by thank you for watching it till the end please don't also forget to watch previous videos until next time bye